Hey, what's up everyone? I got a shark vacuum here. My uh, stair cleaner stopped working. It just, it just like seized. I fixed it. Here's, if you're looking at it, you should be able to spin it freely with your fingers. It should spin pretty easy. Mine wouldn't spin. It was kind of seized up. I'm going to show you what it was. It's actually not that hard to fix. Um, first, let's go ahead and, um, you know, separate it from your other hose. This plastic gray piece comes off. The way I got it off is I just kind of pushed this little button up and then I, I kind of pulled up and it removed the gray piece. So this just comes off. Be careful not to break it. And then in here you have uh, your little belt and your little uh, shaft. So uh, there's usually hair all in here. You got to get the hair out. I use a little uh, pocket knife, cut all the hair out. And uh, then this comes up. Careful not to rip on your or rip your belt or like stretch it. This can come out like this. Now there's these little side bearings right here. These pop off real easy. And I know it's kind of gross looking, but there's a bunch of hair all in here. And what happened with mine is so much hair got in here and just whatever that actually stopped those bearings from moving. Now this one has a little bearing that should spin freely as well. I cleaned, um, I cleaned all the hair out and uh, you may be thinking like, nah, it's probably not the, the cause of mine, but this is exactly what was wrong with mine. Just, you know, just some hair from uh, over the years, living with people with long hair. Get it all out, and then um, these bearings will be able to spin freely. Anything else that's in there, get it out. Um, you know, it shouldn't be too hard. Again, something small like a pocket knife or like, uh, you know, like a little pick or something. Once you get all that out, make sure this whole inner area is all cleaned out. And then uh, put your belt back on. It goes on like you put your shaft on with the belt at the same time. And this should spin freely like this. And uh, put the top cover piece back on. The front goes on first because there's like a little clip part that goes on first. And then it should just clip in place or it should just kind of snap on when you just kind of, you know, kind of squeeze it together. And that's it. So mine's working like it's brand new. I wish I did this years ago. And I hope this video helped you out.